Hey everybody, 47 here and welcome back to the channel. You haven't seen it yet, but I got rank 5 in for champs. And I've been going these, well, past few days, two weeks I guess, that the game is out. Uh, trying to find a formation that would fit, that I would play well. Obviously, I don't use this formation, because, well, uh, it doesn't have a lot of people in the midfield. And I feel in this game that you need a lot of people in the midfield to give you passing options. This game is, like I've seen a lot of uh, YouTubers saying, it's a tiki-taka football. You have to know how to pass. So one of the most important things isn't running, it's how you pass. That's why you see most of my players have stats that will boost their passing. Okay, this Vinicius is already super fast, but he has a dead eye. I could have put a hunter, and he had a hunter, but I decided to boost his shooting and his pace with the dead eye. Aubameyang being my main striker, yes, I had to put pace and shooting on him. Uh, Pulisic, I, he had uh, an artist. I changed because of the way I needed his dribbling to be. You go to Varane, he has passing and physical. It's to make him a lengthy boy when I play the new gen. Uh, Kessia being my main defensive mid, it's uh, important for me to have good pace in defense. And of course the defenders, I really don't like to mess around with the defenders and I like to put uh, shadows on them. Uh, Jordi Alba for some reason, I think I put a hunk, uh, hunt, uh, not a hunter, uh, an anchor on them because, well, um, I really don't know, don't know why, and then you'll understand why, but maybe I didn't have the shadow at the time, but I'll explain why I, he has a, an anchor and he should have something different. My super subs usually are Diaz, Rashford, and Gakpo. And when the game is going a little bit, uh, I need to defend a little bit more, I put Fofana instead of uh, Valverde, okay? That's the tactic that I go into the game, but what is the tactic that I use when I'm playing? That's probably the big surprise for a lot of people. So let's go across the tactics. I'll go ultra-defensive. So my ultra-defensive tactic is a 3 4 one, two. exactly. I go free back. Um, this is how I play. I put pressure on heavy touch with 50, depth 37, not too bad, but not too forward. Offense. I think this one is the best one because it was fast build, build ups and for the runs because I want them to, to run. A good one is also, um, sorry, long ball. I think long ball is very good because the, the the attackers position themselves much, much better. But I've been using fast build-up. Some people like to use slow build-up with direct passing, because like I mentioned at the start of the video, you need to have very good passing accuracy in this game. Um, I'll press X and I'm not... Uh, I'll... Uh, but what I do is I have Conde Varane and Araujo. As you saw, he was uh, the right back. So because his original position is center back, I have three centre-backs in, in there, and Pulisic and Jordi Alba come back to defence. Uh, Kessi and Valverde come back to defence, but um, Valverde is the box-to-box. -box. And then I have Vinicius as um, Cam. I, yes, I could have Vinicius as striker because it's faster, but I prefer the Jota striker because of the 5-star, 5-star, not 5-star, 5-star, 5-star big first. But I'll show you the instructions, so let's start from behind. Defenders will always stay back while attacking. The right mid and the left mid are come back on defense, free roam so we can show up in different areas. Come short, okay? And come short is come short and ask for the ball to the feet. This means, okay, this means they will come to me and I can pass the ball to them. Like, they will give me a better passing option. That's what I have and get, in, uh, get into the box for crosses. Case, yeah, I have stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for the cross, I don't want him to go inside, that's all for this um, work. Cover center, because remember, Jordi Alden and Pulisic, they drop back and stick to position Valverde. I put balance attack, so it goes up and down. Uh, balance, balance crossing run, sometimes it goes in, sometimes it goes in, but most of the time he goes in because he has good stats for that. 
into such as normal, cover center and stick to position. Beneath is it stay, uh, stay forward. Uh, sometimes I want him to go in, sometimes I need him to stay on the edge to shoot. Free roam so he can open up and give me other passing uh, opportunities. Then I put Jota. I don't move anything on Jota except stay forward because uh, sometimes I will need him to stay central, sometimes I need him to drop to the line to make a cross. Uh, the attacking runs, I could, I can leave Max because he sometimes goes, gets in behind. He, sometimes he just waits for the ball to receive and pass to the side. Or sometimes it just drops back. But this one's very rare, right? It usually doesn't drop back that much. And finally, we have uh, Abomayan, where he stays central, gets in behind. That's why he has a hunter, so he runs in behind and stays forward. That's the tactic that I use. And if you go back to my video on Saturday, you'll see the first game of Fit Champs where I was playing and I was losing 2-1, if I'm not mistaken, and I decided what well, I need to attack. So I put this formation and I managed to turn the game around. It's really good. That's why Jordi Alba has an anchor, like I showed you guys. He has an anchor, but, uh, but because it comes back to defense. But I could put something more attacking on him. I could also go with this static with my normal squad, you know? I just uh, change position, not even start like this, and I can put a better um, left mid, a more attacking left mid. But usually, I like to use the first half to gauge my opponent, and then at the start of the second half, I put the Scott or someone, I just put someone in there. So let's. No, I don't want to say so. So basically, that's my instructions for the first weekend video, uh, for the West first weekend league uh, video that you saw. Um, I'm happy. I'm looking back. I didn't need to do this Valverde, especially considering there's a road to the knockout one. But oh well, whatever. Uh, Kessia is very good. There will probably be an upgrade. By the time you see this, there's probably going to be an upgrade because I'm not going to pack anything that my pack like this here is terrible, but I am really, really, really considering doing Raheem Sterling and put him here and use him as my uh, right cam and sometimes in the midfield because he's fast, he's tiny, he's fast, he's a very good card and he's gonna, there's only one more game, one more win for him to get an upgrade to a 97 and I'm pretty sure England is going to win one game in the World Cup. And I also think he's going to be an influential player in uh, Chelsea this season. So he's going to get, I'm hoping, two more upgrades. So his 86 cards would easily go to, uh, I don't know, an 89, maybe 90 if you're lucky, depending on what he does on Champions League. So, yeah, guys, that's my team. That's my tactics. Um, are you brave enough to use a pre back in this game? Because not a lot of people like to do that. Most people are using 5-back. Yes, they're using 5-back. I'm going the opposite direction. Guys, thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Sub button up here. This should be on the latest video. And over there is my Platinator channel where I do my completionist stuff. I hope to see you there. I hope to see you here again. And only one more thing to say. Bye.